So then, uh, what's this all about? Um, basically, I get through tons of equipment, be it mice or hard drives or whatever else. I try and look after stuff, you know, use compressed air and all of that jazz, but still, it just... it just breaks. I think that, um, these hands... these hands are just too mighty for most of the mice that are on the market. So yeah, Adventures in RMA Land is just going to be me trying to get, I don't know, like five minutes of content out of the largely unpleasant process of having to communicate with companies to try and get a, a, a return within the warranty period. So, you know, there will probably be more of these, and I, I hope it's borderline watchable. Hey there, Rebus Forever here. It's been a little while since I uploaded, partially because I was experimenting to see how uh, views worked without uploading, and also because my uh, mouse stopped working. I've been using the Razer Naga uh, Hex V2, but its middle mouse button stopped working, which, uh... Well, that affects gameplay, but doesn't necessarily affect editing. Well, anyway, my, uh, backup mouse, the £5 Audi mouse, that came into its own initially, but then, uh, its right-click stopped working, and part of the Razer RMA process is to get a bit sore. So to save, uh, you from having to actually ship the product back, they have a method that involves you committing a form of sacrilege that it just felt, it felt morbid, you know? You have to cut through the cable and uh, display, display your prize to them. I hope that this is just for RMA purposes and that I haven't just been weirdly embroiled into someone's sort of strange kink. So I provided uh, this photo, a photo of it in this sort of lighting, and that wasn't good enough, which is fair enough. But to raise this credit, after getting some slightly better lit pictures of my now wireless mouse, Razer were indeed quite compliant. But without the Audi mouse's right click, and the Razer mouse now not having any sort of wire, and it looking unlikely that I'll be able to repair it, uh, that was that was editing complicated. And due to the mouse that I had not being in stock, they actually uh, provided me with a bit of an upgrade. I now have a transformering mouse. So uh, that's, that's five minutes content in the future. So uh, well done Razer for having a pretty robust system, even if it involved getting a bit kinky at one point. On to XFX. A year or so ago, um, bought a Fury GPU. It's a nice looking unit. Looks pretty appealing. As you can see, there's a... There's no dust in the uh, fins there, because it's sat in a box. Um, almost entirely unused, because... Well, it makes this sound. I didn't get on with the RMA initially because of having operations and such to deal with. Sort of thought that it had already left its... Uh, warranty period, but realised recently that it hadn't. I contacted Overclockers as the seller, but Overclockers no longer maintain a relationship with XFX for some reason. After that, um, I began communication with XFX on the issue, who conceded that there was a problem, but um, attempted to make the claim that the card was outside of their RMA, or that it was in fact just the seller that we should contact. I reassured them that that wasn't the case, and we seem to have begun an RMA. But, as you can see, or rather here, the noise is quite dominating. So I have no idea how this RMA process will end. Going to be sending the card back soon. And uh, I'll provide an update on that uh, when I do the next one of these videos. So there's, there's a cliffhanger. So it's a bit like Lost, in that nobody, including the person making this content, knows how it's going to end.